Hello everyone, welcome back again with us at Military TV. In this episode, we're going to talk about the world's most advanced swing roll combat aircraft. Here comes Eurofighter Typhoon. Eurofighter Typhoon is the world's leading air defense and ground attack aircraft with full multi and swing roll capabilities. It has super cruise capability which enables high speed flight at sustained speeds of over Mach 1 without the use of afterburner. The combination of the airframe performance, advanced human-machine interface, powerful engines, and groundbreaking technology gives Eurofighter Typhoon pilots the edge in today's competitive digital battlefield. The interoperability, durability, resilience, safety record, reliability, and enhancements of the platform ensure that both performance and value are delivered without compromise. In another word, Eurofighter Typhoon is the only fighter available on the market able to offer such wide-ranging operational capabilities, while at the same time delivering unparalleled fleet readiness. The ability to simultaneously support both air-to-air -air and air-to-surface scenarios allows the fleet to be used for the widest range of operations. At the same time, the design focuses on high reliability. Low maintenance and the ease of upgrading systems means the aircraft have the maximum possible availability. The aircraft also has demonstrated and continues to demonstrate high reliability across the globe in all climates. It has been combat proven during operations in Libya, Iraq, and Syria. Before talking further about the specifications, it's better to look at the history. The aircraft's development effectively began in 1983 with the future European Fighter Aircraft Program, a multinational collaboration among the UK, Germany, France, Italy, and Spain. The development of the aircraft has been carried out by Eurofighter GmbH based in Munich, Germany, and wholly owned by BAE Systems of the UK, Alenia Aeronautica of Italy, and the Eads Deutschland, formerly Daimler Chrysler, and Eads Spain, formerly CASA, both of which are managed by Airbus Military. Previously, Germany, Italy, and the UK had jointly developed and deployed the Panavia Tornado combat aircraft and desired to collaborate on a new project with additional participating EU nations. However, disagreements over design authority and operational requirements led France to leave the consortium to develop the Dassault Rafale independently. The first prototype of the finalized Eurofighter made its first flight in Bavaria on March 27, 1994 and flown by DASA Chief Test Pilot Peter Wager. The aircraft's name, Typhoon, was adopted in September 1998 and the first production contracts were also signed that year. The aircraft will remain in service until 2040. About its design the aircraft is constructed of carbon fiber composites, glass reinforced plastic, aluminum lithium, titanium, and aluminum casting. Stealth technology features include low frontal radar cross section, passive sensors, and super cruise ability. The Typhoon features lightweight construction, 70% carbon fiber composites, 15% of metals, 12% of glass reinforced plastics, and 3% other materials, with an estimated lifespan of 6,000 flying hours. The four plane delta configuration is intentionally aerodynamically unstable, which provides a high level of agility, particularly at supersonic speeds, low drag, and enhanced lift. The pilot controls the aircraft through a computerized digital fly-by-wire system which provides artificial stabilization and gust elevation to give good control characteristics throughout the flight envelope. Besides the airframe design, we need to see other important parts of this combat aircraft, such as cockpit, weapons, radar and sensors, and engine. We start with the cockpit. The pilot's control system is a voice throttle and stick system, VTOS. The stick and throttle tops house 24 fingertip controls for sensor and weapons control, defense aids management, and in-flight handling. The direct voice input allows the pilot to carry out mode selection and data entry procedures using voice command. The Quadruplex fly-by-wire flight control system has an automatic low-speed recovery system which provides the pilot with visual and audio low-speed warning and will, if necessary, automatically take control of the aircraft and return to safe flight. 
In addition, the BAE system, striker, helmet-mounted symbology system, and heads-up display show the flight reference data, weapon aiming and cueing, and the FLIR imagery. BAE system's Turprom ground proximity warning system is being fitted. The cockpit has three multifunction color heads-down displays which show the tactical situation, system status, and EADS digital map displays. The next part we're going to show you is its weapons. The Eurofighter Typhoon has 13 hardpoints for weapons carriage, four under each wing and five under the fuselage. An armament control system manages weapon selection and firing and monitors weapon status. Depending on role, the fighter can carry the following mix of missiles. Air superiority, six BVRAM or AMRAM air-to-air -air missiles on semi-recessed fuselage stations and two ASRAM short-range air-to-air missiles on the outer pylons. Air interdiction, four AMRAM, two ASRAM, two cruise missiles and two anti-radar missiles. Seed, suppression of enemy air defenses with four AMRAM, two ASRAM, and six anti-radar missiles. Multi-role, three AMRAM, two ASRAM, two ARM, and two GBU-24 Paveway 3 or 4. Close air support, with four AMRAM, two ASRAM, and 18 Brimstone anti-armor missiles. The last one, Maritime Attack, with four AMRAM, two ASRAM, and six anti-ship missiles. Furthermore is about radar and sensors. The aircraft is equipped with a Captur ECR-90 multi-mode X-band pulse Doppler radar, developed by the Euro Radar Consortium. The Eurofighter operates automatic emission controls to reduce the electromagnetic emissions of the current Captur mechanically scanned radar. The Captur M has three working channels, one intended for classification of jammer and for jamming suppression. A succession of radar software upgrades have enhanced the air-to-air -air capability of the radar. While its sensor, the aircraft is equipped with Passive Infrared Airborne Track Equipment, or Pirate. It is mounted on the port side of the fuselage, forward of the windscreen. The sensor has been developed by the Eurofirst Consortium, which comprises Galileo Avionica of Italy as lead contractor, Thales Optronics of the UK as System Technical Authority, and Technobit of Spain. The Pirate operates in both 3 to 5 and 8 to 11 micron spectral bands. When used with the radar in an air-to-air -air role, it functions as an infrared search and track system, providing passive target detection and tracking. Pirate also provides a steerable image to the pilot's helmet-mounted display. And the last part that we want to show you is about the engine. The Eurofighter is equipped with two Eurojet EJ200 engines that have been developed by Eurojet in Munich, each delivering thrust of 90 kN in full reheat and 60 kN in dry power mode. Single-stage turbines drive the three-stage fan and five-stage HP compressor. This allows Eurofighter Typhoon to cruise at supersonic speeds without the use of reheat for extended periods. The engines deliver 1,000 flying hours without needing unscheduled maintenance through the use of advanced integrated health monitoring for class-leading reliability, maintainability, and through-life cost. The Typhoon is capable of supersonic cruise without using afterburners, referred to as supercruise. Air Force's monthly gives a maximum supercruise speed of Mach 1.1 for the RAF FGR4 multi-role version. However, in a Singaporean evaluation, a Typhoon managed to supercruise at Mach 1.21 on a hot day with a combat load. But Eurofighter states that the Typhoon can supercruise at Mach 1.5. In short, the combat-proven Eurofighter Typhoon is the world's most advanced new-generation swing-roll combat aircraft available on the market, and is in successful operation in nine nations – Germany, Italy, Spain, United Kingdom, Austria, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the Sultanate of Oman, Kuwait, and Qatar. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great content.